Well, gyms are back open, but maybe your mind isn't quite ready to jump right in yet. So we have brought in this morning the mental toughness expert, Marine veteran Eric Ripmeyer, to walk us through some secrets to getting healthy. Good morning. So glad you're joining us. We need it. Sally, that was the intro. Thank you. I'm pumped up. I need to do some push-ups. That was great. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll do some in the break with you. Yeah, okay, so you've got some ways to burn calories. I'm going to tell you some of these I never would have thought of. So let's start off the bat. You say, go ahead, get moving first thing in the morning and get your heart rate up, even if it's just for a minute. Why is that so important, first thing? Yeah, it's all about habits, Sally, and it's all about emotional control. We're emotional creatures, and the problem with so many diets is we set them and we rely on our motivation to get us through. It's not going to work. We have to develop a very strong why, what we're doing, what we're doing, and then acknowledge that we're emotional eaters. We use food like a drug. We use it to ease the pain but also enhance the pleasure, so we have to be very careful of that. Okay, a couple of the things that I had never thought of that you say can actually burn calories are keep your home cool, sit on the floor, chew gum. All of those things can help us burn calories, Eric. Hey, when you're trying to burn calories like I am, Sally, I do anything. I try to talk real fast to burn calories, all right? So you can do whatever you can do. But, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's the simple stuff that if we're sitting here just doing nothing, essentially, we might as well capitalize. I know when I was in rest, when I was a wrestler in high school, it sounds nasty to say, but you're trying to drop weight. You would actually drive the weigh-ins. And you would spit in a cup. I know it sounds nasty, but it was any way to drop weight. So there's these little things that you're, you're there anyway. You might as well take advantage of it. Okay. So you also have some, some, some things that, that successful people do on a daily basis uh, to, to stay healthy. And, and one of the things you say is don't just search for the, the easy diet. Search for an effective one. Yeah, mentally tough people are grounded in objective reality, Sally. They know that the path to success, whether it's weight, whether it's business, it's not easy. It's going to be difficult. But the key is to focus on effective, not easy. There's a million and one different programs. Take this pill, go to bed, wake up, lose 10 pounds. It's not realistic. Mentally tough people focus their energy on what's effective, not what's easy. Also focus on the, the results, what's going to happen in the end, and not the pain that you are currently in, right? Oh my goodness, so many people get in this habit of, it's like the lesser of two evils. In their mind, they're like, I'm extremely unhappy being unhealthy, but I'm also afraid of the pain of a diet. Ultimately, what it boils down to is the diet's not that painful. Once you put in your mind a reason why you're doing it and you have that laser focused why you're doing it, the pain goes away at that point. You put all your energy into end results. There's so many distractions right now that can throw us off, Eric, as, we, as many of us are working from home right now. I mean, how do you go about just pushing those distractions off to the side and keeping the, the goal in mind? It's being mentally prepared. That's the issue. And we have, we all have these triggers. My trigger, I joke about this, my trigger is alcohol. I know when I drink, I'm going to eat tacos, hamburgers, french fries, and anything else that has an immense amount of fat in it. It's what I do. So I plan for those triggers. If we're aware of those things, if we know when we go to parties, when we go to events, if we know there's going to be food there, we can preemptively eat a head of lettuce and not be extremely hungry when we get there. But we have to be aware of what triggers us when it comes to eating. Mm. And I love your advice about setting the alarm on your phone every 30 minutes, and that's kind of your, your cue to get up and move around a little bit. I have to tell you, I do agree with the suggestion that chewing gum does help you uh, lose a little bit of weight. I'm embarrassed to say how much gum I chew a day to avoid eating, <laughs> eating food and snacking. So uh, well, I appreciate think, the advice. How do you think I feel? Thanks, Eric. I'm a Marine. I can, I can hardly walk and chew gum at the same time, Sally, so you're doing okay. I got a hard time just walking, so you're, you're good. I, I won't even ask how many packs of hubba bubba you choose you're you're safe right <laughs> all right now i just need to have somebody hold me accountable with everything else so we'll <laughs> see you again soon you're always welcome on houston's morning show thanks so much you're the best sally thank you so much for having me